Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. So, welcome back to our channel. My name's Biz. If you're new here, this is Luca, and we are doing a vlog this weekend because it's a long three day weekend and Miguel's first Father's Day. We are spending today Saturday cleaning. I just did the kitchen. I need to do the dining room, living room area next. And Luca's gonna hang out here in his new giant Lucaville. Yes. Please, if you have not yet, you should subscribe because we are moving to South Korea for two years in August. And we would love to have you along on the journey to explore with us. Thanks for everybody who has subscribed so far. We appreciate each and every one of you. And let's uh, hang out this weekend. Do you want to give them a tour of your new digs, Bob? How big it is? Look at this guy. It's messy. I had it nice and cleaned up yesterday, but we've been playing around in here. Oh. Look at this. Look at all this space you have. Crazy. So this afternoon, hopefully I'm going to like speed clean, intense, hyper focused clean most of this house and then at two o'clock i've got a virtual baby shower for one of my bffs from college robin is having her first baby and we're so excited for her and we're actually we're doing something what i think is so cool like i love this idea yeah they do is that we're having a tea tasting and so a company sent us three different types of tea to try and told us exactly how to prepare it and they sent us some cookies to go with it and so we're gonna set that up and enjoy catching up and whatever other activities they have on the zoom baby shower today's pretty low-key mostly cleaning and then tomorrow is the big day it's father's day It is lunchtime and I'm going to try to make this pasta salad situation for lunch for everyone. And we're going to heat up these sandwiches I made yesterday. And I've been using the New York Times cooking app, like the subscription. Honestly, one of the best investments I have made for this family because I use this so much. So, 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 so much. There are like so many staples, like Mike's favorite granola that he makes every week is from that. The Indian nachos that I make at least once a week is from New York Times. I have not come across a recipe that we didn't like also. So like that's been such a win. And it's just like so much more convenient than all of these cookbooks that I have. And so big fan. Not sponsored, just saying it's 100% worth $40 a year. That's this is everything that the tea company sent us. They sent us four different teas, some lemon thyme cookies. This is like our tasting card, information about them, open door tea in Connecticut, and then disposable tea bag. I'm starting to get everything ready for that while I'm also making this pasta. So I thought I'd show you that. I'm very excited. I'm a big tea gal. So we've got gentle heart, Assam, I don't know what that is. Skin Radiance and Coconut Green. And then they sent us a bunch of other options. I'm hoping to like put them in a bunch of teapots, take them upstairs to the second bedroom and do my Zoom there away from the crowd down here, you know. with the chooch and the papa almost time for the baby shower we're busy guys today have my tea set up here ready to go brought my kindle because i'm early i'm always early and my sister keeps letting me know that like it's not the vibe to sign into a zoom meeting 30 minutes early but like 
as someone who needs to be 30 minutes early to everywhere that I go, otherwise I'm late, I don't know how to just show up on time. It's very hard. So we're waiting for it to start. We have about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna read the book that I'm reading, which is actually like really good. Let me recommend. Also, let's like give a moment for the Kindle cover because look how cute she is. She's such a vibe. Got her on the Etsy. I'm reading Things We Never Got Over by Lucy something that I've so sorry, I can't remember her full name, but she's like blowing up right now on the book talk and on the Kindle Unlimited. She's a fave and like I'm really enjoying it actually because let me tell you how many times book talk and Kindle Unlimited authors have done me dirty and they are not the vibe. This one's a pretty good book. Would recommend. This future editing biz as I'm putting together this vlog. I just wanted to pop in and tell you that I, and now I've finished the book. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I still recommend it, but there was a point at like 60% through the book where all of a sudden I feel like she was like, I need to enter some conflict between the two main characters. So I'm going to like change the vibe here. And that I didn't really like. It did resolve itself in the end, but I just was like... All of a sudden she's referencing back saying that like the main character... Oh, his name is Knox. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the name either. His name is Knox, and all of a sudden he's just like, I told you never to fall in love with me, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I don't remember that conversation happening. I don't remember that warning. Maybe it did happen, but like also all of the things leading up to this moment are evidence to the contrary. So yeah, I just felt like she felt she needed a little bit more, I don't know, edginess to her main character but it was a little strange that little switch but overall not a bad read one of the better reads that i've found on kindle unlimited i actually as like i said kindle unlimited has been not a treasure trove it has been a dumpster dive if you will like anyone can publish their book on there and everyone does that's all i have to say godspeed bless everyone who's written a book because i haven't so i'm not gonna not gonna shame anyone for wanting to publish their stuff. We're headed out for a post baby shower walk to enjoy a day that's like not crazy hot outside. Still pretty warm, but it's not insane. We're gonna go walk around a lake. First, we're gonna stop and get us ourselves a little treat, a little drink per Miguel's request should be an enjoyable evening. And then I think we're gonna have dinner at Boot and a Boot, which never happens for us. Crazy day, we're just wild today. We got to the lake at like 5 30 it took us an hour to walk so by the time we got we were headed back this way it would have been seven and lucas bedtime is 7 7 30 and he is one tired guy so we are going to end the night with some pizza and popcorn and watch the secrets of dumbledore and get ready for a full father's day extravaganza tomorrow for this guy gonna be jamming happy father's day to everybody all the papas in the back good morning everyone Luca thinks it's funny if you can hear him laughing back there to himself. It is Miguel's first Father's Day with Luca Chooch on the outside. 
he's got a lot to say this morning. We are doing another day of the dad Olympics, which we did last year on the 4th of July because my sister Carolyn was here to help organize and she is the absolute best. We had the best summer last year. She lived with us all of July. Yes, Luca, and this time you get to see it and judge. It's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that. But we're headed to Walmart to pick up some supplies for breakfast and just the rest of our day because we like keep running out of food because we're not buying hardly anything because we're moving soon. So we are off and we will catch up with you soon. How'd you like your gift? It was amazing. It was lovely. It's my favorite photo. My wife got me a watercolor of my favorite photo from when he was, I don't even know, and less he, than a month. Yeah, and he was his newborn pictures we did. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I really like that one. I feel like my face, he's so tiny and my face is like utter happiness. I love it. Our background isn't that cute, guys. Sorry. That's what happens when you're moving. Filters on the floor, boxes everywhere. <laughs> Thoughts on being a dad so far? It's been almost a year. Almost a year. Mostly good, mostly good. Everything changes. Cutest little bub though, cutest. Because you see him keep changing. Gal made us this beautiful Dutch baby while our beautiful Italian baby sleeps. Gorge. So, as I said before, we are doing the Dad Olympics, year two. It's mm -hmm. an annual thing. So like for Mother's Day, we're doing the tea party. For Father's Day, we're going to be doing the Dad Olympics. And when we live with other people, like around people, it'll actually be more like a field day situation. Oh, yeah. That's what we envision, right? Everyone knows from elementary school, you know? Yeah, it'll be fun. But because it's just Miguel and he's competing against himself. Miguel Cuddy's favorite cookie is chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. So before we have dinner, so they're available this evening for Miguel, I'm going to make him some fancy oatmeal chocolate chip cookies again from the New York Times app. I've never made them from scratch. I've always just made them in a bag. I'm not like a baker type of gal, but we're gonna do this differently this year. He's going to read us some Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix because we just finished yesterday the Goblet of Fire. He's gonna start in on the Order of the Phoenix while I'm baking and it should be a good time. Be $250 cookies. Do the oh, pretty looks pretty moist, looks very promising. Is there anything special about this cookie? I mean, it's very tasty, but would you say it's special? I would not say it's a $250 cookie. Oh, bummer. I mean, the cookies are very tasty. I keep wanting to eat more of the cookies, and there's like 36 cookies, so. I can't eat all these cookies. That would be very unwise to devour more than 10 cookies tonight. Like, I shouldn't do that. 10 cookies is a lot. I shouldn't do that, but they're very good. Your affect is just like so low, though. Well, you know that, though. I know. It's just like really infuriating. Are they good cookies or are they just like average cookies? Because it just feels like from your vibe, they're just like average cookies. I mean, they're very good. They're definitely better than any store-bought cookies. They're above average they're cookies. They're above average cookies. And you want to eat 10 of them tonight. You think I 10 could. is reasonable. No, I don't think it's reasonable. But that's what is calling to oh. me. Yeah, you should probably wait and eat some protein with dinner. Yeah. 
and then rethink. <laughs> Good morning. We love a Nana pancake on the floor. Floor pancakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Silly guy. Monday, Monday of our long weekend. We're headed to an impromptu trip to Raleigh to do some exploring. Probably like a lot of outdoor activities. Yeah, Miguel? That's the plan. That is the plan. Hopefully Luca takes a nap on our drive. It's only an hour to Raleigh, as I think I've mentioned in a lot of vlogs when we go to Raleigh. But Raleigh is great. Like if we were stuck here forever, I would not be mad about living in Raleigh, you know? It's pretty nice. So that's where we're headed for a little adventure today. Summer is over in a flash and you're on your way Somebody near is open for tonight, it's not too late My mind says yes, you've been here for quite some time But my heart tells me you should stay to a thousand. Miguel fancies himself a biker, I guess. He actually just fancies himself an outdoorsman. I am. And uh, I just have yet to see that be his truth. Rock You're a rock climber? Rock climber extraordinaire. I didn't know that. Paddle boarder. What else don't I know about you? Make campfires. And that I have yet to see be uh, successful. No, so That's not true. She's lying. <laughs> Are you vibing? The, huh? Yeah, I'm vibing. How much do you think a kayak is? <laughs> this has been Miguel's game since we got in I, here. How I'm much a, do you I'm think a, this I'm is? I'm a saltwater kayaker as well. I don't know Are if you? Doing that. I've never that seen that. When did White you do that? Whitewater rafter, you know? I've done, done that, that one time with you. Only 800. Only 800. It's a good deal, you think? Only 800, yeah. Is it a, can we both fit in here? There's two? This is a one seater. Oh, okay. So we can't all have fun. So that's a little selfish, Miguel. <laughs> he also just told me that he's not a surfer yet, but it's on his to-do. It is, it is, it is. It's in his natural habitat. He's a big Patagonia guy. For almost every occasion, I get him at least one Patagonia thing. Not, I did not get him anything for Father's Day, surprisingly. But he came in pretty hot with some Patagonia in the last year for a birthday anniversary father's day last year i think we are gonna just log this vlog out now i feel like you know you've seen a lot of this weekend already we're headed back home from raleigh had a great little afternoon and then i'm gonna make probably bean burritos for dinner tonight Thank you so much for hanging out with us and tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We'd love to have you along on the YouTube journey, especially when we start vlogging in Korea, which starts August 1st. So you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe for that. I talked a little bit about the Dad Olympics and I that was like so long that I took it out and just made it its own vlog. So they're going, it's going to be separate from this weekend. I felt like we had two 
long of a vlog if I kept that in. So keep an eye out for that and we will see you in the next video.